Hello, hello, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do. Going to bring it to you fast again, but we're going to take a quick look at the markets because it's looking good today. A lot of people in the green making some money. Uh, Bitcoin up almost 5%. Uh, I saw it hit the full 5% a little while ago, um, but really some momentum. There's a lot of strong news um, on Bitcoin, and I'm going to cover that a little bit here soon. Um, Litecoin up 15. NEM up 15. NIM just exploded. Uh, I love NIM, of course. You guys know that. Huge fan of NIM. Uh, covered NIM in my last episode, talking about how they did the Insider, uh, Inside NIM videos on YouTube. Super awesome. Go check those out. But why, why is it blowing up? Because the devs spoke to the masses. It's like, it's this fascinating thing in cryptocurrency. It really fascinates me. It's like these devs, they huddle into this into the secret place and they program for ages and then when they come out and they speak people lose their minds and so they basically just came out and confirmed a lot of things that we know but um there was also some great comparisons um that they made into uh, you know how they may be uh better than ripple in certain ways and things like that um it's just my personal belief only, only my opinion. You can believe whatever you want, not bash anyone who is owning Ripple. I've owned Ripple and things like that. But um, I do believe NIM is better than Ripple, only uh, straight down to the core of the technology, uh, both in the tangibility um, and the actual business applications, but in the, in the sense that it also can handle smart contracts and do a whole lot more than just uh, handle banking transactions. Um, so, uh, I don't know what everyone's all hyped up about Ripple. I know that there's some, you know, they got the big banks in the news and things like that, and people are excited about it. Um, but people should be keeping a close eye on them. They have a lot of business part partners working uh, with them already and things like that. So, not trying to pump NIM, but I kind of am, but it's kind of too late. If you missed the boat on NIM, it's not too late. I think looking at the market cap right now, um, NIM could easily pass Ripple. It, it, it has always been a top 10 um, and uh, for, for a really long time. I don't mean for always, but for a really long time, been a really strong top 10, very stable, bouncing around uh, as, a, as a top 10. And uh, it won't be long. Catapult's coming out soon. And uh, it just it's not going to be long before you start hearing these name drops in the news. And, uh, it, you know, the it's 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 gonna tip the scale is gonna tip at some point um, and I expect uh, my forecast is that a year from now uh, we'll be looking at NIM uh, above ripple and uh, and in order for that to happen ripple may need to come down a little bit and it may need to go up but even if they met in the middle you're looking at 4x on NIM um, a lot of people targeting a dollar on NIM so um, nim, 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 nim. Okay, moving on. That's enough about the market. Things are looking good. Everything except EOS. They finally posted EOS on here, which added a whole bunch of money to our capitalization, sitting at 100 billion right now. And at this point, if you're pouring your money into EOS, do do me a favor. Instead of flushing it down the toilet, uh, just go ahead and uh, donate it. Uh, down below, you can see my uh, my uh, link for donations. You can also send it to kingofdo.eth. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you guys other than I got to be really, really honest. I really wanted to invest. I did. Um, but because I knew I had all this time, I wanted to see how much money poured in. I knew it would be a lot. I knew it was going to break records, but I never expected it to be like this. This is slightly disturbing for something that uh, nothing exists. Um, there's no proof of anything. A year from now, could it be a top five? Sure. Could they actually produce what they're saying they're going to produce and deliver? Sure. Uh, but but right now, from the actual valuation standpoint of what this is and where we're at today, um, this is absolute madness. So be careful out there, guys, when you're considering this. Um, I am a big fan of the concept. I like the idea. I'm supportive of them. Um, but we're talking about hard-earned money. I went to work today and worked really hard on a day where most people took it off here in America and not going to put the, my money there. There's a lot of opportunities right here on this screen that are a lot more exciting to me that have tangible, real applications r usable right now. Some of them I can use. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to use it. So um, EOS is 
definitely takes a special breed of people who are super, super smart. Um, so, just saying, guys. Just saying. Anyhow, uh, just being transparent, as always, uh, with my opinion on the markets. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's get into the news. That's what you're here for. Um, the petition on change.org. Head on over there. There is a fantastic pet uh, pet uh, petition for Ethereum. I talked about them doing one for Bitcoin recently, but someone's posted one from Amazon. It's about to reach the 500 mark. That's all they're looking for. There's only 72. 72, guys. So drop what you're doing and go do it. There's enough of you watching this that if you believe in Ethereum, you're going to go over and you're going to do it. Let's just go ahead and get this done. Let's go. Let's send it over to Mr. Jeff, Mr. Bezos himself, um, and uh, let's uh, let's let make sure he knows everything about Ethereum. I've said it many times before, guys. Uh, this guy definitely knows what this stuff is. I mean, he is not living in the weeds. If there's anyone out there looking at innovative technologies and understanding what threats exist to his uh, profitable side of his business is cloud computing. Um, there's definitely, it's definitely hit his desk many times before. He knows what's up. I just don't know if supporting it is in his best interest or not because he has so much invested in his cloud computing. You guys got to kind of imagine the type of negative press that could come out of it. Oh, Jeff Bezos supports, support, he's supporting decentralized, uh, you know, institutions and, and organizations and um you know and golem is on there and that's a supercomputer and it doesn't doesn't amazon you know have enough processing power to be a supercomputer and aren't they essentially a giant database and um you know you gotta you guys gotta kind of wake up a little bit and understand why he may not do this tiny little thing of flipping a switch and accepting ethereum payments um just you know stock prices or whatever you know um he, he he has a board to answer to just like anyone else so um just keep that in mind guys uh, i i do believe the day is coming but it will not come from amazon my prediction is very strong and will remain strong that you're going to see it from ratukin uh likely first uh, as they're desperate to make a play and very uh japanese heavy um most people don't know who that is that used to be buy.com and um, uh, that's my prediction. After that, you may see Alibaba, who's already um, hit the news uh, to be working with Ant shares, um, and that would be big news. So it's not going to happen on this side of the planet, guys. So just keep that in mind. Um, Psycoin um, put up a nice little b blurb on their blog. I encourage you to read it if you're a Psycoin fan or you're interested in actually using the Psycoin network. Um, it's extremely complicated to actually use it, but they have a nice little step-by-step -step here. Um, it's going to allow you to synchronize the blockchain. Um, it talks about how to actually get Psycoins. Um, then it talks about creating contracts and then essentially uploading your files and maintaining your files. So if you're actually someone who's been wanting to use it, um, go over there and check it out. It's still most likely going to be people that are, I don't know, some of you are more interested in actually using this technology for your work um, or um, an enterprise technology or some source. Those are mo most likely the people who might want to go and play and experiment. But um, if you're a little bit tech savvy, go on uh, over there to the SciCoin blog, check it out, start using the Sci Network, and let me know how it goes. Let me know if it's cool for you. Okay, moving on. Um, 13 card uh, GPUs are, are out there hitting the markets. Um, this is kind of what it looks like um right here and uh this is a crypto mining blog that posted a picture of this a while ago uh beautiful looking board um to most of you it looks nothing special at all um this is not a gaming board i don't mean it in that sense of beautiful but right here you can if you look closely we have 13 slots specifically designed for mining so yes 13 cards straight off the board no quirky weird um, adapters, no M2 adapters, um, you know, nothing crazy, no, no, no splitting um, adapters. Uh, this will straight up give you 13. Now, good luck buying one. Saw one on eBay for 700 bones. Guys, 700 bones would get you like, you know, I don't know, you could probably get eight. No, take that back. Six. You could probably definitely re realistically get six boards that can run six seven eight cards 
no problem. So, um, right now it's probably just something to show off to your friends for the hardcore enthusiast miners, likely the ones who have already made a stupid amount of money and they're just goofing off playing with new toys. This is for you. If you get your hands on one, if you spot one in your local store, congratulations. Um, flip that shiz or, uh, you know, use it because uh, mining is a great way to support the community and uh, a fun hobby if you don't have a hobby uh, worth doing right now. Definitely check out mining. Moving on, Burger King in Russia. So Burger King in Russia has essentially announced that they're going to start taking Bitcoin. Um, Russia is definitely on the on the cutting edge of uh, cryptocurrency technology, and um, uh, Burger King announced that. So I thought that was interesting. I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. And um, in other news uh, that I'm not showing on my screen, Goldman Sachs uh, came out with a little statement that they believe that um, the fifth wave is coming for Bitcoin. Okay, so they're they're believing that there's going to be a uh, fifth bullish wave. What they're saying is is that despite the heavy concern about August 1st, there's actually still a lot of buying pressure. And you guys can see that by the chart recently is that it's still doing quite well. We've had a really good, strong, healthy pullback. And it is poised to move further and potentially hit an all-time high. Um, a lot of uh, people um, are likely still, you know, concerned um but at the same time when there's fear there's buying opportunity i keep asking myself is this the last buying opportunity for bitcoin before it goes to the moon i don't know um could it be years before we go to the moon i don't know but but goldman sachs is predicting a 50 percent increase based on their technical analysis that would put the price of bitcoin at 39.15 think about it I don't know as much as those guys know, but um, it's interesting. I'm not here to make any predictions, but Goldman Sachs made one for you. So think about it. Check it out. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen with Bitcoin in the coming month and by the end of the year. I'd love to hear, know, know what you guys think. Um, now, why is Bitcoin up heavily right now? Essentially, South Korea is preparing a bill right now. Um, they're just drafting it to essentially legalize cryptocurrency. Um, the bill uh, basically is going to propose the proper taxation on corporations and personal income. But essentially, it's a full-blown, we accept cryptocurrency as any currency. That's going to be huge. It's going to be huge if this happens. Um, you know, we, we, we the culture in South Korea is just so tech-driven. Uh, there's an internet cafe on every corner in the same way in America there's a Starbucks on every corner. Um, people just practically live in the internet cafes. And, um, uh, you know, it's just their mindset is completely different when it comes to technology and the way that they are open to it and accept it. It's, there's so much more forward thinking happening over there than, than in America um, in regards to cryptocurrency. So if that happens, guys, hold on. That alone could make Goldman Sachs target look silly. Just saying. So it is being drafted, but I think it's something worth following. And um, these things take time, but definitely something to be in the know about. And I think that it has a lot to do with the pressure upward today. Um, and so that's it, guys. If you like this news, please subscribe. Um, I try to bring this news as much as I can to you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like the video if you enjoyed this content. Share it with a friend. Head over to Steam It. My Steam It following is really growing. If you're on Steam It and you haven't followed me yet, uh, head on over there and give me a follow. Um, and let's spread the good news that is blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies. Um, all that being said, as far as things coming up in the in the near future, I've got some cool ideas for the channel um, that I've been charting out. I've been I've been putting them off. I have a lot of really good things planned for you guys, but I've been putting them out just a little bit because I've been focusing some time on my mining operations and things like that. To, to just and I'm also helping some other people in my life with theirs, and so. Um, 
It's been taking a little bit of time, but um, once those things kind of settle down, um, you know, I'll be back to it with some new ideas, some new content concepts, um, and I'm really looking to you guys. I'm looking to you guys, the people who have made it to the very end of my video. Those are the ones that I know that actually care. If you're still listening, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want more of, what you think uh, there's an opportunity to do. Um, I have some great ideas. Um, I have some people at work helping me with some awesome ideas, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, improvements just to the quality of, of, the, of the general streaming and intros and things like that, all those fun things. Um, definitely it is being planned, and I'm working on it. And uh, so just, just hang in there with me while I'm still getting that all put together for you guys, okay? So I appreciate you so much. As always, I am the King of Dew, and I hope you guys are having a good 4th of July out there. May the Force be with you.